Hello everyone, this is Gander. Welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, I just got done uploading, or not uploading, but recording some I Wanna Be The Guy a little bit ago. And um, I felt like getting on a little further with this. Um, we can't do the next part of the side quest for the hidden characters until we get to Zeltenia, which is here. Uh, there's a rumor that we have to read in Zeltenia before we can proceed. As you can see, we're one, two, three, four story battles away from that. So, uh, let's get on with the getting on. Do... Dagula? Dagula? Pass? I don't know how to say that, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your name is! Man, I miss The Rock in wrestling. Like, well, back when the WWF was a lot more interesting and a lot less soap opera than it is now. Why is Rams over there? Whatever, we have Lily, Carlos, uh, Akita, and let's bring Beowulf in while we still don't have a new generic yet. Yeah. Let's, ro let's roll with what we got. I poached off a couple of the dudes in my, uh, in my, what the hell do you call that? in my formation screen. Remember, like I said, with Secret Hunt you can kill monsters and poach them. I'm gonna record a couple of random battles of me so you kinda see what goes on when I'm doing random battles. What's all this then? Oh. As long as we're here, you cannot pass. Nanten. Pushovers. We're former Hakuten. We'll kick your ass. Especially because I'm a goddamn ninja. See that wizard right there? Well, you're not gonna see him for much longer. Okay, apparently uh, he's gonna 90% chance. Blah blah blah. Get key, kill the dragon. If I summon something, what will happen? Huh? Oh, you have teleport. One, two, three. Let's try and go right here. Cool. Good. You hang out right there. Carlos? Go punch that knight. Right in the face. In his face? Yeah. It's gonna be in his face. He doesn't have anything I want. Carlos still doesn't miss. Well, except when he does. Earth-minded soul, protect us. Golem. You haven't seen this one before. It's a little rock, dude. What the golem summon does is it gives a damage shield to your entire party. Um, the amount of damage that it shields is equal to the amount of the hit points of the person that cast it. However, I only think it works for physical abilities. I'm not completely sure. Don't quote me on that, please. Damn, Carlos hits like a freight train. He hits like a doom train. He'll hit for exactly 216. Are they both jumping at him at the same time? Oh yeah, the item I picked up is, well... It's a perfume. They porch off the, the Porkies, the level 2 uh, Uribos. Um, it always gives you re-raise and regen. Yes, it technically makes you invincible. I, um, am just gonna show it off, and then once you actually see its effect, um, I'm not gonna use it anymore after that. Except maybe in the really hard battles out in the... What the fuck do you call that? Two, three, four, five, six... Does, will, will she get there? Surprisingly, yes. I think it goes past them, and it goes before their actual turns. Oh, sweet! We're gonna um, use a super summon. I didn't think I'd actually be able to use that in normal battle ever. 
The Kiyomori draw gives you protecting shell to anyone that's in range. So it's really nice to have. See? That was the golem thing, that little hand that came up and blocked it. Oh, Counter Flood gives you the, the, the four panel target thing, so it's going to be able to hit multiple people whenever it actually goes off. Bad wizard, no spells for you. So now, in this case, the benefit to having a, uh... Okay, so Golem only worked against physical stuff. But the benefit to having a slow summon here... Oh, yes! Stop the jump, even. And there we go, another one. Stop the second one, too. And stop the guy. Yeah, see, Beowulf has uh, 379 hit points. So that shield that the golem gave to Carlos had just as many age, just as many hit points. And like I said, the advantage to the uh, the slow summons is that um, you know I was able to wait for those lancers to get back down onto the field. I'm going to assume that would kill him. We're gonna have him summon something. Let's see what the Cyclops looks like, guys. I've never cast this and in... well, I think I cast it once. Oh god. <laughs> that was fucked up. That was really fucked up. I feel kind of bad for these guys now. I mean, I'm gonna be done in a video. In less than a video, even. I might record a second one if... Shit. And Carlos doesn't even miss. What a pathetic defense force. Okay, so I didn't get to show you what the chant just did. Which kind of sucks, but oh well. Ooh, diamond armor. I'm scared. I'm just scared. And I feel atrocious when I fight like this. Lily, I, I get it. When when there that that first one that she said was because her brave had gone to fifteen or below. You get a warning when they're low brave, similar to when they're low faith. If their permanent faith goes ninety five or above, they leave. If it goes to five or below for brave, they leave also. I'm gonna save here, and then we're gonna jump right into the next battle. Which is... Uh, Brevenia Free City. So, you get multiple warnings, and she has both of them. She really doesn't want to keep fighting anymore. I... I feel bad. Sorry, Lily, but we need you. Go over here. Okay. Now, we'll put Beowulf in this group. And in this one, we will put uh, Carlos and Nikita. I've only got like 30 more, 20 more seconds or so, so we'll get to see the pre-battle intro and then I'll kick over to the main thing. Brevenia Free City. I've got stuff uploading in the background that I can check on between videos to kill the time. 5.06 in the morning here in Mesa, Arizona. Who is that chick? I'm Meladugal. I came to avenge my brother. Avenge your brother? What are you talking about? Who the hell are you? You're denying it? Islud, whom you killed at Rio Veins, was my brother. I'm going to kill you. Not for the High Priest, but for my brother. Conditions for winning. Defeat her. Alright, well I will see you in the next video.